Yeah, you can take shoes and tell them like the video. Like the video if you think Elf is the best Christmas movie. <laughs> I think they'll like the video just for how close up the lens is to your face. Oh, shit. I forgot to unzoom it. There we go. Much better. I'm the worst yeah, present wrapper, and you're like. Yeah, nope, you're, you're not like, the worst. You're, like, no, you're not, not the worst. Look at the present over there. That's all I'd rather. Are you getting me a quick time Oh, what is that? This is a cute wrapper. Get it myself. I did. Socks, yeah. and then have bacon and eggs on them. <laughs> That's so cute. And it says friends on them too. Bacon and eggs are friends. Oh, oh this is best. <laughs> best one. Uh oh. Oh, this is funny. This shirt says, it's always better in LA. That yeah. is the truest That's how you that I've feel today. Ever. <laughs> Oh, oh, so it's like fashion-y, there's little... You go to the Christmas table with your family and your grandparents ask you if the shirt came like that. Yeah. <laughs> it did. I love that. That's so cute. Wait, this is like the cutest carb kind of day. <laughs> and it's a crop sweatshirt, so it's super cute. Like, I would wear this anyway. I love that. <laughs> Thank you, that's a good gift. <laughs> Sad because we wrapped these. That's like sitting here the whole time. We made them go to the bathroom. Oh shit. Okay. Number one. I can stop wearing Lindsay's. I know, that's what she said. <laughs> Some nice joggers. Yeah. Oh, look at those. Yeah, make sure they fit. Lindsay has the receipt if they don't. Medium, yeah. Oh, sweet. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You like them? Yeah. Awesome. Joggers are the best. Glad you guys love Lindsay's like the Christmas elf. I'm Santa. You're, you're, you know, you're the elf. You're like number one elf. I buy and wrap the presents. I make sure everyone loves them. <laughs> Down. Okay guys, it is Friday, the day of the meetup, and I'm super excited. It's the 23rd of December right now, so I am currently headed into the gym. The meetup, I, I did say that everyone can lift, but um, I want to get my lift in early only because um, I want to be able to talk to everybody when I get there. I haven't really been vlogging too much since I've been here, um, only because uh, the last day and a half or so, my anxiety has been like really bad. <laughs> um, I feel much better today. I took care of myself. I meditated. I did what I had to do. I I got my alone time and stuff like that. Um, just I, I it gets kind of bad like maybe two or three times a year, and it's hard to explain if you've never had anxiety. But um, essentially, you just start kind of letting your thoughts get the best of you, and then you create like scenarios in your head and you just like think the worst possible thing is going to happen and then you just like get you attach your emotions to it so what I have to do is I just really have to like remind myself and be aware that I'm feeling that way and to just like note the thought that's like what my meditation lady says note the thought like note my anger or upsetness and just like let it float away like a cloud <laughs> I might sound crazy to those of you who don't have anxiety or if you've never dealt with it before but um yeah the last day or so that's how I've been feeling, but today I feel a thousand times better because um, I took care of myself, like I said, so, whew. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I'm going to head into the gym now. I have heavy squats this morning. I'm really excited about it, so I'm doing sets of three, so that means my coach lowered my squat sets from four to three, so we're getting into the lower rep ranges now, and I'm super pumped about it, so we're going to, uh, we're going to get into the gym now. <laughs> whew, sorry. We're getting into the gym now. I will catch you guys in there.
t-shirt is always better in LA. <laughs> Alright, we have working sets, three sets of three, four sets, 205 pounds. Gonna get some warm-ups now. I haven't even worked out yet. I did like one set. Getting home from the gym, I feel absolutely amazing. And my secret Santa gift came in the mail today. So if you guys heard from my last video that we're doing a YouTube secret Santa, I did not get my gift in that video, but I did get it today and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let me put y'all somewhere. It's the cutest card. So it says, let it snow and it's a long message saying, Amanda, thank you so much for sharing your life and through sharing your life and story through YouTube and all other outlets. You're truly an inspiration to so many different types of people and that is something you should be extremely proud of. As someone who's found fitness to change my life around, discovering your channel was like finding a light in a dark world. That's so nice. You're one of the handful of people who inspire me each day to strive for the best version of myself. I really hope you like your gift. If you watch my videos, you'll see that I really love makeup and beauty, so I got you my all-time favorite product. I am so excited about that because I am not really a makeup buff and I never really buy nice makeup for myself. I never know what to get, so I'm like really excited to see what's in this box. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas with friends and family. Many blessings in 2017 from Chloe Chamberlain. So she's super cute. She is Taylor Chamberlain's sister, if you guys know her. She's been in a few of my videos from the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. I'll insert Chloe's uh, video, like a clip of Chloe right here. Now, um, since being back at school, it's my first day back starting at work again. I work at Scotty's Brew House um, down here at Purdue. I've been with them for a couple years. I've always worked as a server and now that I'm 21, I can finally kind of move up and learn a new skill. Open up this box and see what we got. 
Oh, this is so cute. It's a coffee mug that says A on it. I love that. I love coffee mugs so much. I'm super excited. Coffee mugs, like I have coffee every single morning. So this is a, such, such a good gift idea. Thank you, Chloe. And then we got a, another package from Anthropology. I see it says. Take a second to appreciate the nicely wrapped gift before I destroy it and open it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so this is Tarte Pro, the brand. That's so nice, I love this. All these nice makeup eyeshadow colors. I really like these like deep purples and these like sparkly ones over here. I love that, thank you so much, Chloe. This was like such a fun idea. So if you guys aren't following Chloe on YouTube, um, she's in college right now, so if any of you guys are like around her age, you can totally relate to her. Um, I've watched a couple of her videos and she's awesome, so I'll insert her information in the description box. Thank you to Yami Mufti for putting this together. Um, it was such a good idea and it's a really fun way for like a bunch of us to connect and like have a little fun secret Santa thing. So thank you again, Chloe, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Thanks for driving me. Lindsay's been letting me use her car all week. It's very nice, sister. You guys have seen Lindsay in the vlog before. We actually did an entire Q&A together last time I was here. So Lindsay's a nurse and it's her first Christmas, second Christmas working as a nurse and she got five days off in a row and on the holidays. Except she has to work on Christmas day, but that's not that bad, right? Hopefully not. That's actually pretty impressive for someone who's a new nurse. If you guys are nurses and you can comment on this video saying, I don't know what you're gonna say, angry. Jealous. Jealous. Everyone else I work with is so jealous. Oh. <laughs> they're like, how'd you get so many days off? It's because you're good at your job. Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of people you think? I don't know. Yeah, it's so weird. weird. Yeah. And like his girlfriend went to like the same. Hello, know, Mom. Trying to, but you're great. Everyone's taking a photo with my mom. That's okay. Oh, here. Right. One, two, three. <laughs> Go to your mother's after like we normally do. Oh, there you go. Having for dinner, white meals, barbecue chicken. So good. It's like barbecue sauce on it and potatoes and green beans. No word of a lie. Almost all of my carbon fat sources this week. Christmas cookies. Judge me so hard right now. I don't care. I have taken the liberty of enjoying them because no one else is going to if I'm not. My favorite is um, this kind is an Oreo cream cheese ball. My mom and her friend every single year make like 20 different kinds of Christmas cookies and they put them in those trays and they give them to people and we end up taking like a bunch home. My favorite is these Oreo cream cheese balls. <laughs> so the meetup went super well. I'm so happy that so many people came out and like said hi and talked about how they got started into fitness and I just like got to have some genuine conversations with people and it was really nice to just hear people's stories and like that's what I love doing the most so I'm really happy that I did that and I was kind of nervous not gonna lie. Today you guys are seeing this, it is Christmas Eve so holiday food guilt is something that like a lot of people talk about but I just want to give my two cents on it just because it's something that you can't really hear enough um, even for myself when you're with the fam when you're with the family for the holidays and you're probably eating stuff that doesn't fit your macros, that doesn't fit your meal plan, that might be a little higher calorie. It's hard when you're trying to complete a fitness goal to take a step back and be okay with eating that. So I know for me when I was first going through fitness and like I had not hit my physique goals yet and I was like tracking my food to the T and um, for the most part it was 
really hard to just let go and just enjoy the day without thinking like, oh my God, like it might be um, taking a step back from my goals if I'm not eating everything perfectly. And like maybe I should just bring my food and maybe I should just not eat anything. Maybe I should just like, I don't know. I, was, I would just feel really guilty um, for doing anything that was like off my plan. There's food everywhere. <laughs> And there always is going to be, every single year. It's not gonna ever end, every single year, as long as you're privileged enough and you have a family that cooks food and um, bless all those people who don't have food to eat on a holiday. That's like another thing to think about. But for the most part, most people are, there's going to be food around all the time, guys. Any holiday, any birthday, someone's birthday, those things are gonna happen all the time. So if you just think about fitness as a lifestyle, I always kind of say like, if, you, if you're doing it just for short-term progress and you mess up one day and then you just come, if you, and then you just go off of your plan and say, screw it, I messed up one day, that's not you trying to live the lifestyle. So if you're in the lifestyle and you're like, kind of like 80 to 90% on point for 80 to 90% of the year, that allows you that 10% to not be on point or like the 20% or whatever kind of levels you want to be at. Being on point for the majority of the time allows you to not be on point for the small majority of the time or the small percentage of the time. Just because those times, that's the life that you're going to live. So flexible dieting lifestyle, you have to be flexible. You have to think about the people and the company that you're spending time with that day. So your family members, talk with them, be in the moment, be present. Don't be thinking about the food over there because you're like, oh my God, I'm talking to my grandmother about her broken hip and then I'm thinking about not tracking my macros because she's asking me to eat a cookie. Like, If you think about it that way, don't give food that much power. Give the company you're with power. Give the people that you're with power. Give the people that you love your love and attention as opposed to thinking about all the food that gets your love and attention. Because yeah, food's great. But at the end of the day, it's just food. It's just stuff that you put in your mouth. And of course, you want to be on track and hit your fitness goals, but one day is not going to kill you. So <laughs> I just get really passionate about this topic. Um, don't track your macros on Christmas. Don't hit your meal plan on Christmas. If you're prepping, please continue. That's probably the only, only excuse I'll say, yes, please continue to be on your plan. So otherwise, it's a carb kind of day. <laughs> it's a, my sister's boyfriend got me this sweatshirt. It's a carb kind of day. Embrace it, enjoy it, eat some cookies, and then just get back on your plan on Monday. That's it. Okay. Hope this talk made sense. Hope I didn't ramble too, too long. I love you guys. I will catch you in tomorrow's Christmas video. Um, and that'll end the 12 days of Christmas. I'll catch you in the next one.